if you're an early riser, you're going to want to get up early tomorrow before the sunrise and step outside. Meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo joins us with details. There are two celestial events happening tomorrow. Yeah, two very good reasons. I told the girls we may not get a lot of sleep uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, take a look up in the sky tonight. In fact, here's what we're expecting. The first thing you're going to be watching out for is the super moon. Now, it's a full moon, but it's also a super moon because the moon is at its perigee, meaning that it's at its closest point to Earth in its monthly orbit. Uh, super moons are often bigger. They're brighter than other full moons because they are closer to Earth. Now, the other reason you're going to want to watch the moon tomorrow is a total lunar eclipse. Now, the partial eclipse starts at 344 tomorrow morning. That's when the moon's going to start to look red. The total eclipse runs from 511 to 525 in the morning, but it's going to be sinking into the mountains with that moon set at 543. So you got to get up early, hoping weather wise things are going to cooperate. So far, it looks pretty good tonight. Take a look. Pretty clear skies expected this evening. We will see some high clouds early tomorrow morning. I'm hoping that's not going to obstruct it, but some pleasant uh, temperatures 60s tonight and then 50s into early tomorrow morning.